Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Uh, okay, good. All right, so <laughs> I don't wanna be seen at all, at all, no. But um, welcome back to my channel guys. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. If not, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And then of course, make sure you click down in the description box and check out some of the links that I have left for you guys. Um, the main link is joining the chatter box. It is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. And um, that's for an exclusive live stream once a month with me and um, other, you know, doll collectors. So anyway, I'm here with baby Noah and Noah is the Willow Asleep, he is the prototype number two. Um, he was totally completed by Claire Teller. Um, and his kit edition is was a limited edition of 15. So there is a total of 18 of him floating out here in the world, I guess. Um, so this is his papa. And he is going to have it. And just for the record, as you can see, nothing is coming out. I normally don't say all of that, but I am saying all of that because of what I am wanting to talk to you guys about. I am using some KY on the nipple of the bottle. And then I am going to give it to him. Now he does have a drink and wet system, which allows him to drink water. Well, he can drink anything you give him, but I wouldn't suggest anything other than water. Um, and it will come out in his diaper. So, um, which is pretty cool, um, especially when you use like very warm water, it actually feels very real. Um, like they're, they're really wet in their diaper. Um, again. Sorry, I just don't. Okay, so, so yeah, so it's like they're really wet in their diaper, and, and then, but I like to show the formula in the bottle, so I kind of like the fake feet even more than the drinking wet. Um, I'm not opposed to the drinking wet. Um, it was very an exciting um feature when it first came out when youtube allowed us to do a lot more in our videos as far as role play and skits and stuff you know at one point i know it was excessive but they had the pooping videos and you know i did a video i think with puck where he like peed and you know like real babies you change a boy diaper if you don't move fast enough they'll just pee all over you type thing and so i did one of those scenes in a video before but you can't really show the diaper area as much anymore so it's kind of like not as fun but it's kind of cool when like family members come over or something like that and I'd be like oh yeah and he pees too and then I show them and he like it's funny you know they think it's funny anyway um so it's just a conversation piece um I don't necessarily use it just to be using it um Phoebe doesn't have it um she doesn't have a drink and wet um, I do find that elbow armatures is more important to me than drinking wet. Um, but a lot of, you know, first time mommies want to experience the whole thing of silicone babies. And that's a feature that's not really something that you would get in a reborn. So they want it and understandable. And um, so, um, but I just say if it's a matter of cost and you're trying to decide which armatures are drinking wet. I say go with the armatures because armatures give more posing and we like to take a lot of photos. And I think that that is just makes more sense um, if you're trying to figure out which way you wanna spend your money because you can always still fake feed the baby even, you know, technically nobody knows if he's peeing or not. Um, so anyway, so as I change him, I want to get into another topic. Um, something that I see a lot, it's a, a strong pet peeve of mine, 
but you know just like everybody else they are entitled to their opinion so see if i don't burp him some of his aunties will say you didn't burp him <laughs> so it's a strong pet peeve of mine i wanted to talk about um one of the things that i see that goes on in the community and this is not just from i i see this happen more so within the community than outside the community um and it's kind of I think it, it hits harder or differently when one of your peers judge you versus someone that doesn't understand the hobby at all. So when we're shopping for dolls, you know, the first thing you hear a lot of collectors saying, especially collectors that spend a lot of money on their dolls is, I'm looking for realism. I want the most realistic baby. And when it comes to silicone babies and stuff, oh, it's all about the feel and it's this and that, you know, makes great topic, right? Conversation. But then in the same voice you will hear a lot of those same collectors saying i don't play with my dolls i don't think that role playing is just for me it's kind of childish you know and whenever you use that word childish it's no matter how you play it out it's an insult and it's a it's it's offensive um this is my opinion um i you know i really don't like when people oh you know i think it's just childish you know um, because we are all adults and a lot of us are very successful, full functioning adults, um, with no, you know, just normal people. And, um, so I find it very, um, condescending and degrading and just a poor choice of words to say that something is childish because we tend to we we select a certain feature or we do a certain type of role play because at the end of the day that's what i wanted to talk about what is what is your definition of role play because you know a lot of people think that you know they come on here they do all their little videos and you know they talk about how great the sculpt is and blah 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 and they change their babies they dress them they you know change their diapers and i just wonder like do you not realize that that is still a form of role play because um my grandmother was a, a doll collector and i don't know much about her collecting i learned this later in um years and you know discovered more about this right before her passing but she collected you know porcelain dolls and regular dolls but she had these beautiful curio cabinets and stuff like that and she basically just set them around the house um, dressing them was not a thing. Um, pretty much whatever they came in, you know, you dust the little, she maybe, I guess, dust them off or the dress and stuff. And, you know, if their lashes came off or something like that, maybe she fixed them. But you just put them on a shelf and, you know, that's that. Um, even, like, um, some of the artists that's old school, um, don't even send the babies with diapers on because they feel they don't need it because they're a doll. So... You don't need to put a diaper on it. You wouldn't put a, you would just put it in the shelf or you would just, you know, put it around your house and stage it. And that's pretty much it. Maybe take photos here or there, but you wouldn't necessarily be posing it, you know, changing the clothes, dressing it, um, holding it. You know, some say, oh, I just like to get cuddles every now and then. You know, that's a form of role play, right? Because um, no one cuddles, you know, you get your doll. And, you know, I know little girls, they hold their dolls like teddy bears and stuff like that. But as a grown woman, um, you know, that could easily be called childish, too, that you're sitting here rocking a doll. So when you go to, you got to be careful how you put things out in the universe. Um, I think we get enough from outside people to have to hear it from, you know, other artists, other collectors. Um, and so... You know, from my, in my, you know, my, my personal opinion is that it's all role play. Like, if you're dressing your baby, you're changing your baby, um, you're role playing. You're pretending, you're, you're treating it as a real baby, which is pretend, or using a form of imagination, and you're naming the babies, and, um, so it's a form of role play as well. Um, there, I do know some high-end collectors that actually 
never name their babies. The name of the baby is the name of the sculpt. And they basically do have like real life like um, furniture and, and beds and cribs and stuff like that. And have a full blown like doll nursery. But they pretty much just put the babies in there and stage them and that's pretty much it. And to me that's kind of like not really role playing. It's just a almost like an art exhibit. Um, so for th those collectors, I think it's safe to say that they don't really role play. They don't really sit and watch TV and hold their babies or get them dressed and pick them up and, you know, pat, you know, rock them across their shoulders or anything like that. They are not role playing. They are just enjoying the art for what it is. And whichever way you decide, just just to put this out here, whichever way you decide to enjoy your hobby is perfectly okay. But please do not come and try to put me in my place or, you know, um, minimize who I am because I decide to enjoy mine a little bit further. Now, let me also say um, just on behalf of myself and some of the other YouTubers that I know, um, I can't speak for all, but... You know, some of the things that we do as far as role play is for entertainment purposes. Like, you know, because the art is so realistic and they look so lifelike, um, I it's a very, a very, very cool way of showing off their realism and, you know, just showing how real they look by putting them in real settings and treating them like real babies. And I think that a lot of people do a lot of things on camera for entertainment purposes. Just like you watch TV, um, you know, Bruce Lee and um, um, who is it? Will Smith and, you know, Jada Pickett and, and, and uh, I don't know why they came up. But, you know, I'm just saying, you know, different actors and stuff they are not really getting shot they are not really getting stabbed they are not really pregnant in the scenes but they play these roles and we love it we pay to watch it and we're entertained by it no different than youtube youtube is a form of entertainment a lot of times it's a marketing strategy for you know some people so i don't know how you guys feel about it it's just like some people um like i have actually heard individuals say you know, these dolls can't bring you happiness and, you know, they they don't substitute for a real baby and da da da. You don't know what it does for someone else. You can't speak on someone else's emotions. You can say it for yourself. Now, I don't like another pet peeve that everybody automatically assume that I'm collecting, you know, lifelike dolls because I can't have children when I have a whole house full of children. Um, not whole house anymore, but you know what I mean? Like I've got five kids, but you know, or why don't you just go have more kids? You know? And I think, um, Dolly X Love was speaking of that, um, in a post one day about that, how people just, you know, say stuff like that. And I really, I really think that's a, oh gosh, Pookie, I forgot. I got to put you on your tights first in order for you to. So in order for him to wear jeans, I need to put him on tights. Now he's a darker skin tone. So sometimes I feel like they can be, they'll be okay. The lining inside of this is lighter, but it is still got a little bit of that genie feel to it. I, I just don't trust it. So I usually put them on tights. So, I'm going to put them on the tights first. Um, and I do put the socks on first so that when you're sliding the jeans over their feet, they're, it's not getting turning blue. But yeah, um, you know, and that's another thing, you know, people saying, you know, all these things. And then, you know, sometimes, you know, what if you say to someone, why don't you just go have a real baby? And they have... A medical issue that they can't have children how cruel is that like you know why don't you just mind your own business and if it's not for you just go about your way now I don't have a problem with people asking questions like I've had people come to my channel and genuinely 
want curious and know what are these dolls used for um why do you collect um um do it fulfill an a void in your life for something you're missing do it you know do it uh you know help you with emptiness syndrome you know or you know stuff like that those are genuinely legit questions okay questions to ask um here's where sometimes it gets a little tricky when i give you my response then don't at attack my sp my response if i say you know yes um it it fulfills you know something that you know i miss having the small baby and it just gives me that feeling as if i have a small baby and it's something about walking in a room and seeing a baby laying in there in the crib or in the bouncer that just give me this butterfly feeling in my tummy don't say oh my god that's crazy you know i mean you can say whatever you want but i'm just saying that's when it gets to where okay now you're trolling you're not really curious because be curious but respect my choices and in, in my 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 hobby because if you want to collect stamps that just sit and do absolutely nothing and you want to chase around the world just to find a particular one and pay, you know, hundreds of dollars for, a, let's say, an Elvis Presley stamp or something like that, then I'm not going to say, oh, my God, why would you do that? I mean, I might in my head, but I'm not going to tell you that and you know, I'm going to let you have your hobby. So I just, that's my whole thing. It's like, let me have my hobby. But like, like I said, it's just, it just feels, <laughs> it just feels worse when, you know, it's your own people in the community that, <laughs> sorry, Pook, that, um, that does this. Now, that's, I'm being silly, but at the same time, sometimes I do pull this up like this. Because if the jeans come up a little bit and it rubs, <laughs> and it rubs, um, he's good. Like it's not gonna get on his tummy or anything. So, but it's just funny seeing him in his little outfit. I like my daughter legit had on an outfit like this the other day, but it was a oh an actual outfit. It was pink though, not my seven year old, my twenty five year old. But um yeah so i know this is a long video but i don't feel like stopping it and starting over and doing another video and i really wanted to finish getting him dressed but i can't you know you guys know how my memory is if i do too much at one time i forget what i'm talking about but yeah i don't like that either but i've seen even other collectors say that as well that they find it silly that you know um, people tend to think that these dolls will help them with not being able to have children and stuff like that. Like th those are really strong opinions. And like I said, although you may have them, it is harder to hear it coming from, like I said, another collector or an artist, especially an artist. Like I literally straight up don't want to really buy from an artist that thinks that what I do on my videos is crazy or you know like would say you know oh my god role playing with these these are dolls these are just dolls why do you guys do all that why do you dress them up I mean and then some of these people that's sitting here going oh you know, I don't do the role play. Like, I just really don't see the need of it. I don't feel like it's just, like, something I want to do like that. It just makes me feel like a child when I do that. Like, you're going all over the place shopping for expensive accessories, um, strollers, cribs, um, expensive clothes. Um, but yet you want to judge someone because they decide to rock their baby in their video or feed them a bottle in their video or whatever it is soothing it is so cute when i click on one of my sisters dolly sisters video and see them interacting with their babies like i think it is so adorable and it's like 
Man, this is why I love this, these dolls because they look so real. Look at that. That looks legit like a baby. I don't know where I get this legit word from, but it's like I'm wearing it out. But like that looks like a like, real baby. Like this is like why I collect. Like that's how I feel about it. Like I never be like, oh my God, you know. Now, you know, when you go to doing like some of the extreme stuff, you know, I know I've, you know, had babies in bathtubs and stuff like that. Again, entertainment, just trying to have fun, laugh, imitate some of the things that really happens, you know, during childbirth, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, it's just all in fun. Um, and in my case, you know, sometimes that fun has really been lucrative for me. Um, I've and I didn't do it thinking about making money, but it did make me money. So, you know, um, but yeah, but I don't do as much of that as I used to. And it's mainly because I just don't have the, the time. And also, I don't know, you know, with work and everything sometimes I, I you know I kind of thought about it you know when a channel kind of put me on blast before our page put me on blast before for it for um role playing and stuff it kind of made me kind of think about the work aspect like oh god yeah what if <laughs> oh, my my vp sees me doing this stuff on camera yeah that might not be good but you know hey at the time it was fun. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching Noah. Don't forget, we still got more time to do All Babies in Red for uh, Six Cell Awareness. I am going to probably do a segment of that where I just show all my babies in all, all of them in all red. For that, um... He does have on a little red, but yeah, my baby. So he might actually be the only baby that I have that's totally completed by Claire Teller. I don't know. It's so I'm, you know, um, you know, at the rate it's going, that's what it's looking like. And I'm perfectly okay with it, but I just want to hold on. I want to have at least one. That's complete, totally completed by, by Claire because she is like my one of my favorite artists and sculptors. So there you go. That's baby Noah, and he's a sleepy head, and now he's had his bottle and his cuddles, and he is going to go take photos probably. Knowing me, you guys know. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name is the same on Instagram. It's Renly Smith, and. Thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this, about role playing, about other collectors shaming other collectors or low key throwing shade if however you want to put it on collectors that actually role play with their collection. Thanks and that is all.